Okay guys, today I'm going to try and um, plastic dip these. I have the smoke, so it'll smoke the lighting. And I was looking all over Google, couldn't figure out how to get these off. Mine was loose, so I'll show you real quick. Um, so basically, hold on, let me grab my flashlight. Give me a moment. So basically, you're gonna have this. This is gonna be on here. You're gonna pull it off. I already done it on both sides. And normally, if you were just changing your bulbs, you'd be right here. Um, here, let me see if I can't. Okay. Right here, there's a bolt. And then, right up there. Right there. There'll be two bolts. Take those off. The next spot, which I'll show you over here, because I haven't taken it off. There's two little tabs on the bottom, as you can see. One right there, one over there. I used a flathead screwdriver, just pried it out. You'll get over here, it'll look something like this, and then right there, there'll be another bolt. You pull out that bolt, and your whole uh, assembly comes right off. I'm gonna try to do this in one hand. Maybe I can set my camera somewhere. So, hold on, guys. If you look, when you pull it off, pull it off, there's some tabs. Obviously, you want to disconnect the bulbs. Otherwise, it's not all going to come off. So, give me a moment. Sorry about that. Um, so, look, there's some tabs here. Here's the connectors. There's another connection right here. All that'll come off. And you have this. So you can see the little tabs. None of mine are broken, thankfully. Um, interesting, <laughs> some beetles in there. But this was all wet, which got me which is what got me to want to learn how to take it off anyway, because it was kind of loose. So yeah. Now seeing those bugs was kind of gross. But yeah, I got to take off the other side. And then dip them. Looks like I'm missing a bolt. This one right here. Not too bad. My assembly is not my actual, uh, tail light. My actual tail light is not loose or anything. It is quite difficult, although, to get to that one. And by the way, it is a 10 millimeter to get those bolts out. Uh, yeah, 10 millimeter. I have mine on a swiveling elbow makes it a lot easier a lot easier if I can actually get over there on the other side this was already loose enough that I was able to do it by hand but this way actually I might actually still have to do this by hand Basically, once you break those that bolt loose, it's uh, pretty much smooth sailing. And then you got that one that was up there, which I already took off. 
I think you can't really uh, take this off with one hand. So give me a moment. Be right back. I actually just found a hidden bolt and I figured out why my passenger side was so loose. If you come down here, it's actually right behind. I don't know if the camera can see it. It's right there, right where my light is. You'll have to like, I don't know if I can show you. Right there. So I was wondering why the outer edges were moving, but this part was still stuck, which also explains why this side was loose. And I originally took it off, but it's missing, it's missing a bolt. But basically this is the, pretty much how you would take off your, uh, your tail lights. Um, I'm gonna end up doing a video soon on uh, my car in general before I actually start modding it. But yeah, this is how you do it. And if you just needed to take off your bulbs, it's the same same process minus removing the bolts. You just come behind here and unclip these, take the bulbs out. Thanks guys. Real yeah. quick, this is two coats. One coat. A lot darker than they were a few minutes ago. And this is on a, a Plasti Dip Smoke. It gives it kind of a tint. I did this already once before on my uh, previous car. It made them a lot darker. I mean, it won't look the same as this, as if they were tinted, but it will look pretty good. Anyway, uh, I'll show you again later when I uh, actually get it on the car. And yeah, it's almost done. They're a lot darker. Um, it's nighttime now, so you can't really tell. Wait a second, guys. Uh, well, I left my hazards on. Um, there may be, at night, they look almost black. But compared to before, there may be, I would say closer to a cherry red. Let me turn my hazards off. Closer to a cherry red with the smoke. And that was only on two coats. Um, also the fact that it's nighttime and this is my iPhone. But they're much darker. So I'm happy with it. I would suggest if you guys wanted to try this and you didn't want to pay a person to put tints on or you or you don't know how to put tints on because this is actually a lot easier than putting on tints. Um, I would suggest maybe three coats, two very heavy coats, one light coat, or two very heavy coats, two light coats. This is just two heavy coats as my can ran out. And like I missed a spot on this one. You can't see it because it's dark, but it, it's right there. I know it's there, but otherwise, I like the way it looks. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. You can hit the subscribe button. It'd be awesome. Anyway, enjoy your day. Bye bye.